we categorize, categorize uh, the, the practices into three groups. So the first one is the data set. Here we have things to pay more attention while creating or select, selecting the data set. And the second category is um, experiment design. Here we have the best practices for points like choosing a technology or customizations on the selected technology. Our third category is the experiment environment. Here we focus on points like impact of location of cross or define, defining the page uh, visit strategy. And finally, we then, um, based on these uh, best practices, we have created 18 criteria that web measurement studies should document. And with this criteria, we conduct also our survey. So here are, um, some highlights of our results, uh, we determined uh, that 64% of the papers state the data set they used, like if they, use, uh, they used Alexa or Tranco. However, 73% uh, of the papers don't offer a complete list of analyzed pages. Uh, so this makes it impossible to reproduce the experiment without knowing the analyzed sites, we just can reproduce it and when we check the criteria uh, in experimental design, we see that 31% of papers, uh, percent of papers uh, don't state which technology they used and user interaction, cross location, um, browser adjustments are co omitted by 70% of papers that are very important for reproducing of an experiment. Why? Um, we see that in the next slide, in the next slides. And However, the, uh, but the 76% per, uh, percent of the papers describe uh, the data processing uh, pipeline, which is good. And um, on evaluation side, we see that 64% of papers omit an ethical discussion like potential consequences of the crawling and 21% of papers misses the limitations and ethics and only 24% of the papers make their results or raw data publicly available. And um, maybe it's not here, it's, now in, it's not our intention to blame individual works for flaws. That's why after uh, discussing with PC, we decided not to publish an uh, evaluation of each paper, but the paper we analyzed, uh, the list of them you can see in our repo. So we now turn to replicability of studies. To demonstrate the impact, we have decided to choose these four criteria because literally we don't see enough evidence on their impact. The first one is, so what, what happens when we perform multiple measurements? And then the second one is, uh, which differences would we get when we don't name the crawling technology, like when we don't uh, document uh, if, it, it, if it was uh, Firefox or Chrome or Edge? And also the impact of uh, the mimicking user interaction, we have also interesting findings to that point. And our last case study was to determine the effects of the crowd's location. This is an already discussed point in, uh, point in other related works. And in our work, we wanted to show if we can replicate results of the previous uh, work. And um, these points we decided to so, and for this point, we decided then to create an extensive web measurement environment. We have created totally 25 virtual machines and assigned each of them a different uh, configuration. We run uh, our measurement in three different locations, Europe, North America, Japan, to find out the effects of the crow location. This is a case study. And to determine the impact of the browsers, we had in each location distinct Firefox and Chrome profiles. And also we had distinct headless mode of these profiles. And these all four profiles are without uh, any user interaction. So they just visit the page and uh, the crawling is then done. And we have added for all of these profiles an alternative profile with user interaction. In these profiles, when we visit the website, we make uh, some keyboard simulations like clicking the tab K, page down, page up, and up and button. So finally, we had in each uh, location eight profiles and total 20 four uh, profiles and our 25th profile was a repeated profile that visit each day same sites and to, so to check if measurement results can be changed daily 
And maybe a short overview on our pipeline. Here uh, is uh, our measurement pipeline. We have pre-processed URLs to be analyzed and our command machine takes this URLs and provides for each, uh, provides one by one to each browser profiles and tell them when to start and check almost in real time uh, if all profiles are uh, ready for the website, so for crawling. So this allows us to guarantee that each profile visits uh, the site at the same time. Then all profiles visit the reported URL uh, and then push the results to a central database. So uh, some other information on our setup, we have used the Tranco top list uh, and for each page we visited further 25 sub pages because related work shows us that it's important when running a privacy measurement. So uh, visiting sub page is an important point. And um, we run a parallel measurement, a parallel measurement as we have seen. And you now we can discuss our findings. I will present the impacts of criteria along uh, the, the web tracking today. So here, uh, our box plot where we summarize the differences the, of, of uh, the number of tracking requests as black box here and distinct trackers as white box. So please remember that all profiles visit almost at the same time, uh, same year as. Uh, so when we compare Firefox with Chrome profiles, we generally see that Chrome-based profiles make 2% more traffic. Interestingly, we see that Firefox profiles has 12% more tracking requests than Chrome, uh, although Chrome profiles have more requests. So we now, uh, uh, analyze the impact of user interaction while crawling. So what happens when we mimic user interactions on the page? We see on average 20% uh, more traffic on profiles with interaction. Chrome profiles with interaction record an increase of 6% uh, percent while, profile, while, while Firefox profiles have an increase of 36%. A very interesting finding was here that the volume of the tracking request in new requests were very differently. So after uh, making user interactions, the 6% of new requests in Chrome were tracking requests uh, after we mimic user interaction. And for Firefox, it was 73%. And when we interact also uh, on the website, we see also this thing. So we see in the, for interaction, profi interaction profiles, new distinct trackers. So we now uh, compare the results of measurement uh, of measurements on different locations. Overall, we see that uh, profiles, USA profiles are tracked uh, most in terms of distinct trackers and uh, followed by Japan and uh, Europe. We believe that the local regulations uh, causes this. And when we check the volume of the tracking request, we get also the same sequences. So our results uh, here at that point are very consistent with related work on this topic. Remember that we wanted to show if you can replicate uh, with this case study uh, the results of previous works. So our last profile has visited the same page for 12 days. As you can see here, the number of tracking, the number of tracking requests uh, uh, can be daily vary up to 20%, 20 percent, uh, while the number of distinct trackers here uh, stay almost uh, stable. Those studies that analyze the ecosystem will find uh, most probably so similar results, uh, while studies that aim to analyze the, the extent of the tracking uh, phenomenon may might see different results based on the measurement day. So this shows how important repeated measurements are to draw more robust uh, conclusions. So to summarize, our survey shows um, studies often don't document sufficiently the experiment setup. Um, and we have seen that uh, most of the, 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 the related works uh, don't document the the, 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 which technology they used and also its configuration in detail. And we have then developed best practices and uh, 18 criteria for designing and conducting web measurement studies. 
and then run an extensive measurement setup, which demonstrates that minor adjustments may lead to significant differences. So we need to find ways uh, for performing more robust uh, web measurements. And here you can find our source code uh, uh, for our framework and data sets, which we made uh, publicly in GitHub. So thank you very much. Thank you, Nerula, for the uh, presentation. Uh, so there's still a bit of time for questions. Um, is there someone from the audience who would like to ask a question? Um, you can unmute yourself. Um, I think Carlo Luki has a question. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks a lot for the presentation. I was wondering why do you see the change in the distinct number of trackers over those 12 days? Here you mean? I, I lost it here. So we, yes. yeah, uh, we didn't check it. So we didn't check uh, why we see the, this, why we, do we see new distinct trackers each day? We just measured them and then, so each day it was actually so the distinct the, the number of distinct trackers were were uh, very similar but the number of tracking requests as you can see here um, had a very it was very different by so each day uh, we did really didn't check uh, why we get uh, the new uh, distinct trackers we just uh, wanted to measure if we get new or not or if the if we are or how frequently can it can it be changed? But the reasons for that, we it was uh, for us out of scope. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, we still have time for one or two more questions. Um, yeah, maybe a question of my own. Um, so in in your study, you mainly focused on on uh, web security and privacy, um, but do you think that the criteria that you used in your work uh, could also be applied to other web measurement studies. Yeah. So because of yeah, um, I think yes, because because of our experiences in the web security and uh, privacy, we decided to make analyze on this topic, and we also just uh, like we, we measured the the metrics like trackers or distinct trackers. Um, but we have seen also that the minimal changes in this uh, setup can cause different results, uh, like having more HTTP requests. And when we have more data, that means changes. And uh, so it's not only a security uh, aspect, and that's why we think that uh, it can also be transferred to other uh, measurement studies. Mm 